Welcome to Einstein's question answer video. I'll be answering the questions you submitted while Einstein chews on his spaghetti squash and sweet peppers. How did Einstein get his name? Well, actually Jeff named Einstein after we considered a few other names, which I can't remember. But we thought Einstein would be the best name because Einstein was just a famous and very smart scientist. We now know that there are several other parrots out there named Einstein as well. Have you had him since he was a baby? Yes, we got Einstein when he was just about three and a half months old. He came from a breeder in Garland, Texas named Joanna's Nest Box. How old is Einstein? And does he have any siblings that you know of? And what's the craziest thing he's ever done? Einstein is 21 years old right now. He was hatched on June 15, 1997. He doesn't have any human siblings, and he was hatched into a clutch of three. So he has other bird siblings, but we don't know where they are. What's the craziest thing Einstein's ever done? Well, actually, it's something he does quite often. Einstein almost has some sort of psychic or telepathic ability. For example, we'll be watching TV and there might be a scene on that is scary and he'll say, don't be scared, or it might be funny. And he will laugh even before we laugh. It's hard to tell if he's reading our body language or actually reading our minds. It really is crazy. How much does Einstein weigh? Einstein weighs about a pound, or 450 grams. I've heard you say good girl and good boy to Einstein. Do you know Einstein's gender? We now know Einstein is a boy, and I know it's confusing. When we first got Einstein, we took him to an avian vet, and that vet told us that Einstein was a girl. When Einstein turned 17 years old, we got concerned because Einstein was having some nesting behaviors and we were afraid that she would lay an egg or get egg bound. So we got a DNA test done and the results were Einstein is a boy. What were Einstein's first words and when did he learn them? Do you know why Einstein talks so much more clearly than other parrots? Einstein started talking when he was about 17 months old. His first words were, wa wa woo I love you, but it wasn't very clear in the beginning. Then one Thanksgiving, we had my whole family over for Thanksgiving dinner, and we were all at the table, our heads were bowed, and we were about to say grace, when out of the kitchen came a great, big, loud, gobble, gobble, gobble. Needless to say, the whole room burst into laughter, and Einstein got a lot of attention and even a little nibble of turkey and dressing. I believe Einstein speaks clearer than most parrots because we never talked baby talk to him, and we always spoke to him with clarity. I can't be for certain if that made a difference or not, but that's been our experience. I love it when Einstein says, be quiet. Do you have to tell him that sometimes? Is he normally a loud bird, besides his cute vocabulary? Einstein is a relatively quiet parrot. However, when he's in his cage too long, he'll let us know by doing some very loud vocal exercises. One time in particular, I was in the kitchen working on a very complicated recipe, and he was in his cage just jabbering away. And I said to him, Einstein, can you just be quiet for 10 minutes? And you know what he said? He started counting to 10. Does Einstein talk when he's asleep? And does he appear to dream? No, parrots don't talk when they're asleep, and they don't talk when it's dark. Einstein does get covered at night with a black sheet, so he's quiet during the night. And does he dream? Don't really know. It's hard to tell. Can Einstein speak French? No, he doesn't know any French, unless we oui is French. He only knows a couple of words of Italian too. He knows calda and freddo. That's hot and cold in Italian. 
Einstein appears to connect phrases as though he realizes the meaning behind what he says. Or is it just repetition? Einstein knows the meaning of what he says, I believe, most of the time. Just like a dog understands when you say, want to go for a walk? Dogs understand, then why shouldn't a parrot? Is it repetition? Sometimes it is repetition. I'd say about 75% of the time, it's repetition. But he understands the meaning of what he says most of the time. What's Einstein's favorite food? Does Einstein like corn or broccoli more? We often joke and tell people that Einstein's favorite food is anything we are eating. And that's pretty much true. However, he does like starchy things like breads and pastas. And does he like corn or broccoli more? Probably corn, but corn is a word that he gives to all food. Like when we offer him food, he'll say, mmm, corn, it's good. What kind of food is good to make a parrot healthy? And can you do a video on how to prepare his veggie chop? I could talk for hours about a proper diet for a parrot. It should include a healthy pellet and lots of fresh fruits and vegetables, a little seed, healthy seeds like flax and hemp, and also a few nuts for treats. They also shouldn't have anything too salty and keep sweets to a minimum. When Einstein gets a cookie, he only gets a little bitty bite. If you go to Einstein's website, www.einsteinparrot.com slash kitchen slash eat your corn, you'll find a lot of information about healthy foods for parrots, including a good food list and a bad food list that you can download. I can't guarantee that a video about making veggie chop is in my future. However, you can go to Einstein's website at www.einsteinparrot.com slash kitchen slash recipes and find a recipe for chop. The recipe I provide is just a guide. Chop is really a concept. Put in your chop what you think your parrots will enjoy. Just make sure that it's healthy, wholesome ingredients. Why do you have cardboard covering all your cabinets? What does he do in them that must be prevented? The cardboard is actually what we call PCM. That's short for parrot countermeasures. We use it to keep Einstein out of the cabinets. Some people think we use it to keep him from chewing on the cabinets, but that's not true. He's allowed one cabinet and two drawers on his side of the kitchen. Everything else is off limits because he will get inside the cabinets and chew the cords to all the small appliances. What do you do to combat all the dust that comes off of Einstein? My 15-year-old Gracie is so dusty that even with an air filter and a pet vacuum, my house is still dusty and it's affecting my asthma. African greys and cockatoos are both what they call dusty birds. They have a lot of powder down in their feathers. I'm afraid to tell you, but it just comes with the territory. All you can do is keep cleaning. Get rid of any carpeting in your house and just get a very good vacuum with a very good filter. Does Einstein ever bite? How do you deal with it? Some say to give them time out in their cage. Yes, Einstein can and does bite occasionally. Einstein is a wild parrot and they only use their beak to protect themselves when they feel threatened. A wild parrot is only adapted to life in captivity. They still have the same instincts that they would have in the wild. Putting a parrot into timeout means nothing to the parrot. The best thing you can do is to learn positive reinforcement behavior techniques. I suggest you look into positive reinforcement training by searching for goodbirdinc.com or Barbara Heidenreich. Barbara has published a lot of information about how to solve common parrot behavior problems. Has Einstein ever been sick? I've heard there are vaccinations for parrots when their hormones kick in. 
to keep them calm. Do you need to do that for Einstein? No, Einstein's never been sick, thank goodness, and we have a very good avian vet that we can take him to. I'm not an avian vet, but the vaccination you're referring to, I believe, is to prevent egg laying, not keeping the hormones in check. So to answer your question, no, we don't give Einstein any vaccinations. During mating season, does Einstein get aggressive and prefer one of you over the other? No, when Einstein is hormonal, he doesn't get aggressive. He just likes to regurgitate a lot, and he regurgitates for his toys. Einstein's preference for either Jeff or I doesn't change either. He likes us both just the same. Does Einstein poop a lot, and is he potty trained? It's a fact. Birds do poop a lot, and Einstein is no exception. And yes, he is potty trained. I go into great detail on Einstein's website about that, and you can find more information at www.einsteinparrot.com slash videos slash flying pooping. Did you guys own or have previous experience with other birds prior to Einstein? What made you choose an African gray over another type of bird or pet? And did you have to do a lot of research before you got Einstein? Yes, I had a pet budgie named Tweety that I had when I was about four to about eight years old. Unfortunately, Tweety passed away much too young and we buried her in the rose garden. As a young boy, Jeff rescued a robin that had fallen out of its nest. He named the robin, appropriately enough, Robbie. And Robbie lived about eight or nine years in their home. We did a lot of research about the different types of parrots before we got Einstein. And there wasn't much information yet on the internet. We read books and we traveled to different pet stores and asked a lot of questions. We decided on an African Grey because of their intelligence and also because we saw a TV show about Dr. Irene Pepperberg and the work she was doing with African Grey parrots. Yes, Alex was the inspiration for us getting an African Grey. How often does Einstein have his nails clipped and do you have to trim his beak? We trim his nails about every four to six weeks just when we see that they need it. And no, he's never had his beak trimmed. He pretty much takes care of that himself. Does Einstein like hugs? Is he a cuddly bird? And does he like kisses? Yes, Einstein does like hugs, and he is a cuddly bird. We have a couple of videos on YouTube of him cuddling with Jeff. However, he doesn't get that close to my face. Cuddling with Einstein with me is more of him perched on my knee, and then I'll give him scratches on his neck and on his head. And a hug is really just a hand wrapped around his back and he loves kisses right on the beak. Is Einstein friendly with visitors that want to hold him or cuddle him? No, Einstein is very wary of new people. He has to learn more about you and you have to gain his trust before he'll let you cuddle or hug him. And that's very typical of African gray parrots. They are just different than macaws and cockatoos. And that's something you need to consider if you do choose to adopt a parrot. When new people come to visit, what we normally do is we let Einstein look at them and we talk a little bit around Einstein. And then if the person is willing, we'll let Einstein perch on his hand. And if we place Einstein on the visitor's hand, Einstein's happy to do this with new people, but he won't stay there all day. He's anxious to get back to either Jeff or I. How often does Einstein molt and what does that involve? Einstein goes through a molt about once a year. He loses about, I would say, 20 to 30 feathers. And this is a natural process where new feathers coming in pushes the old ones out. The feathers grow out inside a casing, much like our fingernails. It's made of keratin. While preening, Einstein will 
clear away that keratin casing eventually and what comes out is a brand new feather. Depending on the size of the feather, it takes anywhere from a few days to about a week or two for the new feathers to grow completely back in. Einstein is also a feather picker. We don't know why. It's common for African greys and other parrots to do this as well. He only does it at night, and our avian vet believes it's a behavioral issue. It's not medical. It's a habit that he's formed, and like most habits, it's hard to break. I say there is no shame in feather picking, and we love him just the way he is. Where did Einstein learn to say, bye bye Long ago, there was a Saturday Night Live skit about rude flight attendants. And as the passengers were leaving the plane, they would go, buh bye buh bye So Jeff and I thought that was really funny. And we taught Einstein to say, buh bye And then now Einstein says it with many different inflections. How did Einstein learn to wave? Again, we took inspiration from a TV show for Einstein's cute little wave. Many years ago, there was a TV show on called The Beverly Hillbillies. And during the closing credits, the family would get in front of their mansion and wave frantically. So I started doing that silly little wave in front of Einstein and he soon learned to imitate me. We still wave to him all the time and he waves back. And this is just positively reinforcing that behavior every time we do it. How does Einstein act off camera? And is he more talkative with or without cameras and people or no people? What you see is what you get with Einstein. He acts the same off camera as he does on camera. However, he does tend to talk more when he's by himself in the room. He will talk when Jeff or I are with him, but he just seems to do more of his practice talking and repetitions when he's by himself. How are his beatbox lessons coming along? Everybody loves a red butt chicken that can beatbox. Turns out Jeff is a better beatboxer than I am, so I've given that assignment to Jeff. Einstein likes listening to it and he likes watching Jeff perform and we have heard a few woos, but so far no beatbox. Has Einstein ever met another African Grey in real life? Yes, he's met Bibi the bird when Bibi and her family came to visit Einstein. They were doing a road trip from Illinois and spent the night here at the house. Einstein also had a bird sitter who had an African Grey named Sonny. Unfortunately, they've moved away and we haven't seen Sonny in a very, very long time. How does Einstein act whenever you or Jeff have to leave for a day or a few days? When we've gone on vacation, we always get good reports from the bird sitter. Einstein plays happily and talks happily after he gets familiar with his new surroundings. When we return, he's always happy to see us. You can tell he doesn't wiggle his tail like a dog, but you can just tell because he's very clingy and he wants to stay on our hand for a long time. And of course we let him and we give him lots of scritches and kisses. Does he ever get on the floor and play? Well, he does get on the floor and he likes to walk around and attack my slippers and toes, if that's what you mean by playing, which I don't consider that play. <laughs> he really prefers to stay on his drawer or in his cage and he plays a lot in those places. Does Einstein see the squirrels and birds outside? And does Einstein go outside? Do you have a harness for him so you can take him for a stroll? Yes, Einstein does see the squirrels and the birds outside. In fact, one time there was a hawk in the tree outside our kitchen window. Einstein got very quiet when he saw that hawk. He knew that bird shouldn't be there and it did scare him. He goes outside when the weather is good. We have a travel cage that we put him in. And of course he has his screened in porch that he enjoys 
when the weather is warm. We don't have a harness for Einstein. When Einstein was very young, I put him in a harness and he didn't like it. He kept biting at it. So I didn't force the issue. If Einstein was left alone to walk outside, would he be able to fly away? Yes, Einstein would be able to fly away, so we don't let him go outside without being confined in either his travel cage or on the back porch. Any parrot can fly away, even with clipped wings. A strong wind could come along and lift the bird up and he will fly, or he might get startled and the adrenaline will kick in and the natural instinct for him to escape would cause him to fly away. What outside temperatures would be too hot or too cold for a parrot? Birds can tolerate extreme cold or hot weather if they're allowed to gradually adjust or acclimate to it. For parrots who live in indoor environments, I would say the temperature shouldn't fluctuate more than 10 degrees hotter or colder. Since Einstein calls a cracker a cookie, what does Einstein call a cookie? And has Einstein gotten good at saying birdie brigade yet? We never taught Einstein to say cracker, so anything crunchy is called a cookie. Einstein has said birdie brigade a couple of times, but unfortunately we didn't have the camera going, and he doesn't say it very often. How does Einstein react to new items and changes within his territory? African greys are considered phobic birds, meaning they're afraid of new things. With Einstein, it kind of all depends. Sometimes he's just deathly afraid of something. Other times he goes right to it. New toys usually have to sit on the kitchen table for a few days before he'll even go near them. But if I've got a new spatula, He's on it in an instant. Is Einstein afraid of flies? He knows when there's one in the room. I can tell by his body language, he'll look up at it. But no, he's not afraid. Why does Einstein sneeze so often? Parrots sneeze for the same reason we sneeze, to clear our nose. However, with Einstein, I often observe him sneezing right before he says something. And I don't know why he does that. Does Einstein like going to bed at night? Does he sleep through the night or does he ever wake up and want to play? What's his bedtime routine? The bedtime routine involves Jeff and I and Einstein going into the bedroom and watching TV. Einstein will cuddle with Jeff or perch on my knee. He'll then have a nighttime snack. It's usually an almond. Then he'll get sleepy and he'll usually say, wanna go night? That's when Jeff or I will take him to the cage. He doesn't sleep all through the night. When we wake up in the morning, we can tell when he's been doing some preening and sometimes there's evidence of toys that he's played with. We'd love to do a nighttime or bedtime video. I tried once and it was kind of a disaster. Einstein got very upset with the camera being on his face and it woke him up and it just didn't turn out as organically as I would have liked. How much time does Einstein invest in preening every day? Einstein preens about 30 minutes to an hour every day, then another 30 minutes at night after dinner, and then during the night, maybe 30 minutes to an hour. I really don't know how long he preens during the night. How hard is it to take care of a parrot? I get that question a lot. And I usually answer it with a question. How hard is it to raise a child? Parrots are very demanding of your time, your patience, and your pocketbook. You become their flock, and they depend on you for food, for guidance, and for companionship. It's a big job, and to own a parrot is a huge commitment. They live a very long time. Do you have a backup plan if something happens to you or Jeff that makes you incapable to care for Einstein and he needs to be rehomed? And since he prefers men, will it be with a man or will he be fine with both men and women? Yes, it's important that you have a backup plan for any pet, not just a parrot. I think Einstein would adapt to both a man and a woman, but he will be with a couple just as he is now. Is Einstein going to do another collaboration with Petra? I hope so. Is Jeff shy? 
We'd love to see more of Jeff and Einstein. He is so great with him. Yes, I've told Jeff that he needs to be in more videos. So yes, you will be seeing more of Jeff. Thank you so much for all your questions. I've enjoyed doing this video. I hope you've enjoyed watching. And thank you so much for being members of the Birdie Brigade.